those who are not doing well at school, the way we shove our opinions down their throats, they become suicidal. Many of the brown parents are guilty of putting so much pressure on their children to get A's. I tell my kids, you don't need to get an A. Go to school, enjoy yourself thoroughly. Just make sure you pass, come out. That's all. Enjoy yourself. How many of you, after you crossed, you know, school, was it extremely important for you that people asked you, sorry, when you were in grade five or grade six, did you get A's? Did they ever ask you that? It's irrelevant. No one asks you what you got at primary school. Nobody even asks you what you did at O level, to be honest, or A level for that matter. It's irrelevant. The fact that you're now a doctor, they're not going to know that you failed three times before you passed, or they wouldn't allow that scalpel in your hands. Right? Don't worry. That's life. It's Allah's way. The brightest children are not always the most successful on earth. And I want to tell you something else to prove that your education and your wealth are not necessarily connected. Allah makes some of the wealthiest from amongst us, some of the least educated. Do you guys agree? Thank you. So just leave school. Subhanallah. <laughs> no, that's a joke. Okay. That's a joke. That's a joke. But subhanallah, it's amazing. And this is why, you know what? I really feel hurt when people sometimes see a successful businessman, a person who's doing really well, and then they make an issue out of the fact that this person has not gotten a degree or whatever else, so they cannot marry our daughter. But what was the point of going to school in the first place? To earn a living. This man's earned the living without having gotten that degree. Now what's the problem? Subhanallah. And sometimes he may later on, I come from Zimbabwe. I know of so many school teachers and university lecturers and doctors and lawyers and others who actually have just become businessmen because they need to make ends meet in my country. Wheeling and dealing. You get a guy who's proper qualification and subhanallah, they're just wheeling and dealing because they're making money at least through that wheeling and dealing. It's a scenario that can happen. It has happened. But let's be more realistic. I'm still telling you and I want to encourage you. Work hard, work hard, inshallah, as best as you can. And enjoy the days you have. Even if you're at a workplace, things are tough. Enjoy the little bit that you can for now. Make the most of it. It has to be challenging. That's life.